hey there. Hey. Well, my last video, a lot of people weren't able to see. If you were on an Android device and you tried going to that video, you'd just see this spinning uh, loading icon forever. It didn't matter what you did. And you couldn't change the resolution. At least I couldn't on, on my device. It didn't even give the option to change resolution. It just wouldn't play. On desktop, um, you know, on a regular, you know, Windows or Mac OS uh, or Linux desktop, you know, on Chrome anyway, if you try to view it in any resolution other than 360p, it, you get that same thing, a spinning icon forever. It will only play in 360p. I don't know what happened with that, but uh, anyway, <clears throat> it was regarding Steven Crowder, and I may not think he's quite as bad as what I made him out to be last year, but he still puts out some mistruths and misinformation. Here's this, for example. So let's compare. When did Barack Obama declare a state of emergency over the swine flu? This is really important. If, no, if you remember nothing else and you share one moment from this video with your friends, this is irrefutable, undeniable. These are hard numbers. Barack Obama declared a state of emergency over the swine flu after millions of Americans were affected, over 20,000 uh, hospitalized, over 1,000 Americans had died. Yeah. Okay, let's contrast that with President Trump declared an emergency after how many deaths? How many? One! One death! <laughs> wow, that's less. One death! National yeah, emergency. That's much less. That's mm -hmm. almost 999 less than 1,000. H1N1 emerged in early April 2009. Obama declared a public health emergency in late April 2009, months before H1N1 was declared a pandemic. There were only 20 cases of H1N1 in the United States at the time. He declared it a national emergency in October of 2009. First, we are continuing to closely monitor the emergency cases of the H1N1 flu virus throughout the United States. As I said this morning, this is obviously a very serious situation, and every American should know that their entire government is taking the utmost precautions and preparations. When it comes to the coronavirus, Trump declared a public health emergency on January 31st of this year. He still hasn't declared it as a national emergency. Trump still says that he's not worried about it. He still thinks, or claims to think, that warmer weather will make a lot of it go away. Let's put things in perspective a little bit. H1N1 had a mortality rate ranging from 0.01% to 0.08%. The coronavirus has a mortality rate of ranging from 2% to 3.4% for healthy people. The seasonal flu has a mortality rate of 0.1%. Irrefutable, undeniable, these are hard numbers. Steven Crowder is promoting internet myths. He is promoting misinformation. And the way that he presents it, it makes people not want to look it up. But I decided I'd look it up anyway, and yeah, it's bullshit.